of TV, uh, 1-0 to the Arsenal, the, the old scoreline, and um, I mean, what, deserved in the end? Um, probably on the balance of the second half. The first half was atrocious. Like The players had no connection. Mm. They were playing like they just met each other for the first time in, you know, in a car park or something. And you, know, you, could, you could see Leeds were taking advantage of that. They, um, they, they, they home, they, sorry, the, their fans were literally the 12th man for them. They were literally mm. playing, us, <coughs> playing us out of the park, you know. Yeah. Um, in the second half, um, obviously Arteta must have gone into them because when they came out, they came out a lot different. Mm. They're moving the ball a lot quicker. Socrates, to me, today was one of the match. Mm. I was thinking, Ra, who's this, who's this new right back we just signed? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? He was, he was, mm. he was playing like a seasoned right back. Mm. You know, the fouls, the way he was fouling, the way he was getting, like, he had the experience of a seasoned right back. Mm. Um, but, like, I can only imagine, you know, Arteta must have just told them, look, I'm not Emery. Mm. <laughs> and, and that must have been the difference because they, they came out with heart. Because you, you know Leeds are going to have heart. Mm. A lot of the teams in the lower league won't have the abilities of the mm. of the I mean, teams in the prem, but yeah. you know potential the heart. Bar, but you look at these games like a potential banana skin. They're they're right up there. Leeds. There are a very very good team as you can see. Um, yeah, that that's why this game was live on a Monday night because they're looking at it and thinking this is a potential banana skin. And after that first half, you're thinking, ooh. But like you said, very commanding performance in that second half. Extre extre extremely commanding, but also it exposed. The, the entire game exposed um, that we need players. Mm. You know, like that, 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 Torreira, that Torreira side um, is important, that Torreira side. Like the, a retriever, a ball retriever. Mm. We never had that. Mm. You know, like, like we, need, we need that because with Torreira not there, you could see Leeds had the freedom. You know, like especially in that middle. You got mm. Guendouzi. I don't think he had his best game in the first or even in the second half. I didn't think... Did all right in the second half. All right, but you know... Mm. He improved more than he, he improved on his um, first half performance. Mm. But this time, this this month, right now, we need to be buying players. Like Liverpool, they're going to win the league, and yet they're still buying players. They, they, they're still needing, mm. they're still buying recruitment. And we're here struggling. Um, who have we, who, 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 who we got? Give me one player that you'd like to see come in. It has to be defensive. It has to be defensive. Not, not, um, not Boateng. I won't take him because um, at the end of the day, you, at the end of the day, you gotta look at it like this: Is he better than what we have? Probably better than Chambers. But if that's if that's your if that's your uh, measuring stick, then we're, we're in trouble. And w w you look on it that maybe the reason they're looking at a boating is January hard to get a deal done. He can just come in as like a little stopgap. And and this is why I didn't want Arteta for this specific reason because of. <laughs> Of they know they can easily tell Arteta, look, we're not gonna, we're not gonna back you with these players. Do you understand? This is why, this is why I didn't well, want. You don't know. Like, you never know because remember when he came in, he said, I want certain guarantees before I come in. But it's about getting the right player, though, isn't it? I mean, you, you, you know, you, we want. I, I agree with you, Upperman, Carno, these sort of guys are the guys we need. But you ain't gonna get them in January, are you? We're gonna get Boateng. That's what we're gonna get, and. Uh, you got to remember, for your first managerial job, Arsenal's a big fucking club to get under your fucking belt. Mm. Do you understand? So Arteta's probably happy just to have that. And the board are happy to have someone they can push along. And this is the re Forget his managerial style. Like, you can't, you can't manage or you can't coach some of the players we've got. Mm. Regardless of what your style is. Do you understand? And that's why I was saying in the, in the beginning, I didn't want Arteta. Of course, I'm going to back him. But now is the time we need to be buying players. Because it was obvious in that first half. Mm. Leeds are a championship team. They were moving like some team in Spain. They were just running rings around us for fun. So if they, if, if they, don't, back, if they don't back him, what's going to happen is it's going to be a revolving door. The fans eventually going to turn on Arteta and eventually, again, it's going to be not, you know, someone else is going to come in and get the same treatment. They need to back him because it's 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 obvious defense defensively even def defenders and defensive mid i don't know if shaq is still going um i don't mind if he goes to be honest with you to, to, to He's done all right though in the last few games he, he has but you lot must have short memories 
Listen, yeah. it's, it's about what he does now. Uh, it's uh, about what he does. I, I hear what you're saying, what, what happened and everything. But sometimes you can have turning points in players' careers. And it's about how he responds. And it's about what he does now. And at the moment, I'm looking at a guy that, at this moment in time, looks to me like a very important player in the team. He's playing well. I'll, mm. I'll give him that. I won't, I, mm. you know, I won't get on his back on that. He's, he's playing well. Mm. However, the, no one didn't see this last three performances that he was going, he was mm. going to have. So, well and truly, we should have been thinking about his replacement. Mm. Do you maybe they I, were, and maybe he's, maybe he's convinced. That, uh, you heard Arteta when he came in, he said, listen, I, I, I want this guy to be part of the team. And maybe that faith is being repaid. I mean... It's still early, as you as you say, but if if we if he can play like he's been playing in the last few games, he could save a lot of money. All right, Robbie. Let's say uh, let's say he gets injured. Shaka gets injured. What happens then? Yeah, you you you're right. I, I agree with you. We do need to make a couple of signings. We 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 definitely do need to make a couple we, of signings. We, we but need, we need at least two three players mm. fighting. In it's each, just the difficulty in of making those signings in January. This is why it's. I need, to, I need to see a new Arsenal. You need to do things we've never done before. Mm. You can't be doing the same old stuff and expecting different results. We need to be buying the players mm. now. And we need to be spending the money on them now. There's none of this, uh, you know, wait till, wait till the summer. It needs to be done right now. Because we need to know as fans that things will be different. You, you can't keep sacking managers left, right and centre and, and we're still getting the same results. This new manager bounce eventually will fade out. Eventually, we'll fade out. Every manager has it. And that's when you will really see what this club is about. 